my name is Carl Smith, Carl Smith Copywriter, and I'm here to have a cuppa and a chat. So in this video, I just want to really introduce myself, who I am, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So my name is Carl Smith, and I'm a copywriter. Um, but for 20 years, I was a primary school teacher. And a primary school teacher with drama specialism. And it was all I ever wanted to do. From the age of three, I knew I wanted to teach. Teaching was the only thing I ever wanted. And I would spend my childhood, I spent my days playing, and the game I was playing was schools. <laughs> and I would set up my teddies in the bedroom, and I had my chalkboard, and I would teach my teddies what I had learned at school that day. And my mum said that she would come past my bedroom and hear me saying, if I'm talking and you're talking, who's doing the listening? And I have to say, I have used that in the classroom. <laughs> um, yeah, so teaching was the dream. And I was conscientious. I made sure that I got that. So everything I did was about being a teacher. So playing schools, for example. And then the GCSEs that I did was about teaching and making sure that I got good grades for that and then going on to do A-levels. And the A-levels I chose actually didn't really reflect teaching, I have to admit, because I did law. But I did that because it was quite an interesting one to do. I, want, I, was, um, I was playing the field a little bit to see. And media studies, because at that time I was really interested in seeing uh, different avenues of media and advertising and film and how the lighting and the colours and all of those kind of things um, reflect what you're trying, the message you're trying to get across. So yeah, my A-levels weren't so much about teaching as exploring to see what I could learn. But then I went straight into a teaching degree, four years at uh, St Martin's College in Lancaster, primary education with drama specialism. I qualified in 2003, I moved down to Leicester, got a job as a primary school teacher, and the rest is history, really, except it isn't. Yeah, I was teaching for 20 years, um, but there's some bumps in that road. So I was in Leicester and then I decided to move abroad um, to, to experience something new. A bit like when I did my A-levels, see what's out there, trial something different. And I really thought when I left in August 2006, I'd be back by Christmas. But that wasn't the case at all because the lifestyle and the world and the opportunities and I went from this t little girl from the Isle of Man, this tiny little place, to in Qatar in the Middle East, meeting all these amazing people and doing all these amazing things, which are stories that I'll tell you another day because there's an awful lot to unpick there and to see how that experience has made me who I am today and given me the skills that I need to be a copywriter, actually. So, yeah, um, I will talk about that another time. But the Middle East was absolutely tremendous and I didn't ever want to come back. And we moved from um, Qatar. We went to live in Abu Dhabi. After Abu Dhabi, we went to Dubai. After Dubai, we went to Muscat, where I was a drama specialist for six years in Muscat. And I was also able to open my own theatre academy outside of school as a, like an after school club thing. It wasn't a club. It was a it was a business um, and run that for two years, which was really, really brilliant. And the only reason why that came to an end is because I got pregnant and we had our daughter and I couldn't do school and the business at the same time with a little one in the Middle East on our own with no family support. So after Sophie came along and um, we decided to come home, having said that we never would, but she had never experienced seasons and it was really hot. And for me, that was great for her little tiny body and the little skin. It was just it wasn't great. Um, and she didn't know who her family were. And when they came over to visit, she'd push them away. So that wasn't great. So we decided to come home. But I didn't want to teach in the UK again. Having experienced what I experienced and seen what I'd seen and done what I'd done, I didn't want to teach in the UK. So my husband and I decided to open our own business here. And it was uh, we took on a franchise with Premier Education, who are an absolutely excellent company. And if you're looking for a franchise, I do recommend that although it didn't work out for us. But the reason it didn't work out for us is because we started in September 2019, and what we were doing was supporting primary schools um, <laughs> to get their children physically active, and that means supporting through their PE lessons, supporting through their after-school clubs and enrichment activities, sports days, things like that, but also with performing arts as well. Ta-da! You know, it was all of our skill sets together. Um, so that, that's what we were trying to do. And starting in September 2019, from scratch, we had to get our brand awareness out there. We had to get people to know who we were, like us, know us, trust us, to buy into us. 
But come March 2020, all the schools closed because of COVID-19. And that's basically more or less how it remained for about 18 months on and off, wasn't it? They kept closing and opening, but they didn't want external visitors, us, to come in. Um, they didn't know who we were at that point because we hadn't been able to get that brand awareness out properly before they closed. So they were sticking with our competition um, more than us because they had relationships with those already, which meant that, well, I mean, we did. We did try for about three years, but there was no coming back from... March 2020. So that's how that came to be. So I really had no other option but to go back into teaching here in the UK, which I did. And uh, I found that there is no work-life balance at all. The lifestyle, the opportunities, all the things I had in the Middle East, my you know, spending time with my daughter and watching her grow, it wasn't, a, isn't, wasn't an option being a teacher here. And you feel this tremendous guilt because if I don't get the work done, the work, the work, the work, and the workload that never, ever, 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 ever ends. You knock one thing off the top and the next thing rises. If I don't get the workload done, I'm letting school down, I'm letting the children down, and we are monitored and we are checked and there are deadlines, etc. 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 So I've got to, I've got to do that. But the guilt, I'm not spending time with Sophie, and I need to spend time with Sophie, and I'm not doing that, and it's awful. But then if I spend time with Sophie and do the thing that I really want to do, the workload doesn't get done. And the guilt that you feel because you're letting everybody down, etc., etc., etc. You know, this is, I cannot win no matter which way I go. So it became drastically apparent to me before I had a mental breakdown that uh, teaching wasn't the way forward for me in the UK anymore. So what could I do then? Well, having looked at all the things I've done in my experiences, all the things I did in the Middle East, which I'll tell you about another time, and all that vast experience of the two businesses that I have run, Premier Education and Aspirations Theatre Academy, and not just that, but the 20 years experience with the children being a teacher and all the things a teacher has to do, those transferable skills of which there are many, I would be an absolute perfect copywriter. This is something that I can do and do well. And what is important for you to know is that I am not a coffee shop copywriter. I am not a jet setting copywriter, which means that I am not putting your work, you know, to the back of my life and saying, oh, well, I'll just do it when I'm sitting having a coffee. I'll just do it when I'm on the plane. No, your business matters. Your business matters to me. And I will give you my full undivided attention. And your copy will be written to the highest standard, to the best degree. It will be proofread within an inch of its life and it will be creative because I am a very creative personality. So if you're interested in talking to me further, then you can, or, or finding out more information, you can visit my website, which is www.calsmithcopywriter.co.uk. You can visit my Facebook page. I am on social media, which is Cal Smith Copywriter. Um, or alternatively, you can find me on LinkedIn. Okay, so please do get in touch. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about your projects, about any briefs that you have, and see if we can work together. Thank you. Bye.